Alright guys, today we got the Predator 212 engine on a Thundercart XL700 and a Motovox MBX10. So here we will set up how they both sound with their exhaust, with the Apollo exhaust and the stock exhaust. So let's go ahead. Starting off with the Apollo exhaust. That kind of has like a louder exhaust. Now let's hear the stock exhaust. But I still think mine sounds a lot better than just the factory exhaust. Not exactly a hard comparison. I mean, I got the Apollo exhaust on the racing spark plugs, and yes, this is JB welded. Don't ask questions. Uh, this is here because for some reason my throttle cable just keeps fucking going, so this helps pull it back in place because my governor spring is bent. But this has racing spark plugs. And I have the configural clutch, as always, that needs to be tightened. Uh, that's basically all I have. And I have upgraded uh, grips and uh, throttle housing. And for the go-kart, we just have the regular stock uh, muffler, stock spark plugs. Everything is fully stock on here. And also, I do have a air filter. I just took it off and didn't put it back on for this video. But you know, there's some the brakes need to be changed out on this one too, because if you seen it was jerking off at first, and I, I just realized that aftermarket spacer right there, which I do not have on mine. That's a thick ass chain. So yeah, this is my friend's go kart. This is not even mine. But oh, these air in the tires. Another thing with Hemi, these have this bull crap, and on the Hemi's, these are not there, it's just fully exposed. If you can see right there, it's just fully exposed. Another thing with the overhead valves, this is this is like that, and mine's the machine called matte looking. So, there's your comparison with the 212 and both the 212s, the Hemi and the original with the Apollo and the factory. I still have my factory one, but it's not on right now because I don't like the sound of the factory. And this one, this motor is a lot older than mine, but you know, they still, this one runs a little rougher. And then again, I have the more performance Hemi version. It has upgrades and it's more upgrades to come, unlike the original one that's fully stock so maybe one day in the future i'll buy this one and i'll put a racing spark plug in it and change out the filter because i bet that filter is pretty filthy matter of fact let's check how the hell do you get this one off oh he just has a regular filter as for mine i actually have the 
that kind of filter. And that's going to be hard as hell to get that back on there, but we'll just leave it like that. See, my gas tank looks a little more sleek design. His is like big, bulky, ugly, original looking design. So all together, I think the newer Hemi looks a hell of a lot better than the old Hemi. The old one just looks like a big blob, while the other one looks smaller and more in style. Because another thing he has, he has the, uh, the kill switch here for his motor. And I just, well I have the, he has this too. But you see how his is set up, you can't really get back here to it while you're riding it. So, I mean me, I have good brakes and I can easily get to it. See, his brakes are not that good. That's why I had to come up here and put my foot on the brake to actually rev the engine. And see, his, his hasn't really been touched in about a year or so. That's why it looks so rough. But you get the idea of how it is. And he has clean oil that was this just came from the shop. So he has, has clean oil. Supposedly a new clutch. But that clutch looks very, very rough. And mine, on the other hand, my clutch is fairly used. It's not new, but it's fairly used. And this oil could be cleaned and see we like to ride ours a lot in the mud and stuff that's why it's kind of filthy up in here we like to ride ours outside i love how that's changing colors right there i swear i don't know if it's supposed to do that or not but i just love that oil looking color right there and i am running a, a factory front tire and a uh second hand back tire but they look just alike I would have to get a new front tire soon. Maybe even get a whole new tire set up completely. But you see kids playing with horns. Or it could be an alarm going off. I don't know. Anyways, that's the comparison between the Predator and the 212. Or the Pre Predator 212 Hemi versus Stock. And I do see, well, as I'm walking around it, I see a lot of differences between the original Predator and the Hemi Predator. But we'll get to that in a later video. Maybe in a later video you would see a race between these two. Comment below if you want to see a race between these two. Because I think mine would dust the hell out of his. I did race a Motovox MBX10 Platinum with a stock motor, which was like 80-something horsepower. Now, 80 something cc's and like three horsepower which these are 212 cc like 6.5 7 horsepower and plus i could take this cover off and put my dirt bike exhaust on i have a dirt bike filter on it and make it probably a lot stronger than what it is so we'll see all that racing in another video so y'all check check out the next video make sure you subscribe click the bell for more videos